Hey, everyone. All right, first question right here. Well, that's my man Nate the Great back there. Congratulations on moving on to the conference finals. How does it feel, man? My man Nate, um, it feels good, man. You know, but the job is not done, simply put. You know, it's good to get this win in advance, but tomorrow does not mean a thing. So we'll focus on what we need to do to keep going. Yeah, but don't you want to take a beat and enjoy this win? I mean, not too many ex people expected you guys to actually get this far. I mean, yeah, you know, we're going you know, and celebrate this win in the locker room, but it's been like that. You know, last year has been a complete whirlwind. You know, there's been no time to pause, but I don't know, Nate. Someday, you know, I'll probably look back and be like, Shh, that was a crazy year. You know what I mean? It is kind of crazy, but what's it like to be one series away from the NBA Finals in your rookie season? I mean, like I said, man, I think this season speaks for itself. I mean, you saw what this team was before I got here, and look at us now. Hmm? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I'm on the verge of delivering everything I promised to the city, and that thing feels amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, tell us what would it take to be happy with this season? Finals? Uh, title? Honestly, Nate, I I feel like it's all great from here on in, man. You know, we're in the conference finals, man. The conference finals. I mean, no one expected us to be here, bro. Come on, man. You don't see that other dude here. Uh, what was his name again? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. Uh, I think I'm done. You guys have a good night. Well, well, well. It seems that the seventh seeded Phoenix Suns ended up knocking out the i believe it was two seated or three seated memphis grid it was a three seated because it wouldn't make sense if they were the two seated take out the three seated memphis grizzlies to head to their second conference finals in the last three years i guess yeah as devin booker's gonna launch a three to start off the game and miss the phoenix suns defeated them i believe in seven games to come back 2-0 and make it to another Western Conference Finals. Chris Paul in search of his first ring. Can he get it? We will find out. But yes, they are the seventh seed. And they are currently, they are 40 and 42 on the season. Not a good record at all. It's Josh Christopher. What a pass. But yeah, they were below 500 team. A playing team made it all the way to the Conference Finals. And on the East, the Miami Heat nearly came back 3-0. But they lost in seven games to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And the Chicago Bulls knocked out, I forgot who they were facing. I, well, I want to say the Bucks, because the Bulls are the sixth seed as Sangoon gets the block. But yeah, I believe the Bulls were the sixth seed. And they end up making it all the way to the conference finals as I am going to get fouled by Chris Paul. Now, we dodged John Morant. All right, we didn't dodge Luka, but we got by him pretty easily. We d did dodge John Morant, but now... We have to go up against a really good center in DeAndre Ayton. Knowing how bad our front court play is and our big man play, even though Jabari Smith is absolutely killing it in the playoffs, he's doing it offensively, not really defensively. Because we don't have much defense, we don't have much rebounding at all, as Devin Booker's going to miss. So, having to face the Suns, not the best. I mean, it was either get cooked by John Morant or have to deal with, you know, really good big men. A really good big man. It was that simple. Jabari is going to miss a gimme. Of course he does. The Suns are giving us a little bit of a battle here. All right. They're giving us, a, are giving us a challenge. They have been all over us defensively. As you can see, they have the pick and roll defended to a T. They are not allowing me to get it to the roll man as I get fouled there. So that's not good. And I'm trying not to throw 80 turnovers a game in this series. So I'm just not getting baited into that pass so i gotta either go into the paint to draw the foul or kick it out and reset but they got the pick and roll so far defended to a t and we are now only up by four near in the end of the first quarter we have a 10 point lead over the phoenix suns in game one of the western conference finals as they get as we get a deflection second left in this first quarter bit uneventful i have 15 points in the first quarter and looks like that is going to stay that way as we are up by 10 heading to the second. I'm assuming I'm going to go off into the bench. And I do get subbed out 
Let's see what our bench can do. Oh my god. 18 point game. Gotcha. Yeah, things aren't going well for the Phoenix Suns so far. We're currently on a 7-0 run ever since I've jumped into the game. 17 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists so far. I'm not even doing too much. It's just, <laughs> we're just outplaying them. We're outmanning them right now. It's not enough as I get the steal off the inbound, adding insult to injury as the Phoenix Suns are in shambles in game one of the Western Conference Finals. 31 point lead, and that is going to stay as we're going to slowly head into halftime. 40 seconds left in this first half of game one of the Western Conference Finals, and the Rockets are looking like their dominant self. Tari Eason from downtown hits the three and gives us a 34 point lead. Heading into the second half, 25 seconds left. The Suns still have time for another possession. Cameron Payne gets blocked. And that leaves us with the final possession of the half. 15 seconds left. I'm going to run out the clock and see if we can get uh, of the final bucket with nine seconds left. KJ Martin set the screen. Give it back to him for the mid-range shot. And he knocks it down. 36 point lead. 74 first half points for the Houston Rockets in game one. 23 points, 5 assists, and 3 rebounds from the all-star point guard Gerald Johnson to lead his team to a dominant first quarter. And now you can see the playoff bracket. It was actually the Bulls are the 3 seed. Uh, and they beat the seven seeded Raptors in seven. So us and the Bulls are the only two high seeds. And the Bulls actually won game one. I'm fully expecting to see the Cavaliers in the finals because they are just that good as they went to seven against the eight seed. But the Sixers got swept anyways. But, I mean, right now the Suns are not looking like much of a battle. But the Mavericks also didn't look like much of a battle in game one. Well, up until the fourth quarter because the first three quarters was actually very close. But as you can see, 39% from the field for them. We are out-rebounding them, out-assisting them out hustling them to a 36 point lead jabari smith in 13 minutes has 18 points on 89 percent shooting this dude is taking it to the next level in the playoffs so far great defense from sangoon does not get the offensive rebound though but man jabari smith jr is turning into an all-star right in front of our eyes so far as he gets a foul there i went straight up with it uh, jay crowder is slow to get up but yeah Jabari Smith Jr. is so good, bro. So good. 41 point lead. You heard that correct. You see it correct. Absolute domination against the Phoenix Suns right now. As I almost lose the ball, I wanted to give it to Josh Christopher. Not uh KPJ. As I'm going right to the paint for another easy basket to make it 43 points. They have no answer defensively for myself and jabari smith jr no answers chris paul has clearly not done much 29 points five rebounds and seven assists i am over two from downtown but what is to be expected at least i'm not shooting like four for 13 like i used to be as devin booker tries to get him out of this drought with the mid-range shot he's got 15 and it's not looking good it's looking like game seven of the west i mean uh the semis last year for the phoenix suns as I'm going to kick it out, Jabari Smith Jr. in the corner, it's off. Devin Booker currently has 26 points. As you can see in the second half, he is cooking right now. They're still down by a lot of points. Wow, 0 for 3 from downtown. I cannot get my release. They, he is cooking. He is going absolutely nuts trying to get him anywhere close to back in this game as it went from a 40-point lead to only a 34, I know, 6-point difference. But, I mean, hey, they're closer. I will say that. But they're not going to get close enough as this game is most likely over. As I'm sagging off a campaign, he's going to miss. And we're going to head to the fourth quarter with a possible 34-point lead over the seventh-seeded Phoenix Suns, who really should even be here, as K.J. Martin makes it a 36-point lead. Five seconds left in the third quarter. Devin Booker with the ball, and that is going to be off. This, chop it up as a game one victory. 17 seconds left, and we are going to walk out of game one with a near 40-point 
victory, and I plan on making it 40 points. Right to the paint. No respect. 41 point victory in game one, holding the Suns to 83 points. 83 points as we score 124, 45 points, 7 rebounds, excuse me, 14 assists for Gerald Johnson as we get a huge game one victory in the Western Conference Finals. And I'm hoping the rest of the games are competitive. If not, this is looking like a sweep. If game two is a blowout, then I'll most likely play the rest on my own and we'll skip right to the NBA Finals. Final box score, obviously, Gerald Johnson, monster game. He, master class out there, 45 points, 7 rebounds, 14 assists, a steal. 16 for 22 from the field, 2 for 5 from downtown, 11 for 11 from the free throw line. Jabari Smith Jr., insane, insane. He only played 22 minutes, and he had 18 points with 8 rebounds. 8 for 11, 2 for 3 from downtown. If you look at his playoff stats, clear jump in points, rebounds, assists, not blocks, but that's fine. Lower turnovers and his shooting percentages besides from downtown has been amazing. He is just taking a huge leap. Jalen Green, he's been all right. He's averaging 16 points on good shooting. Sangoon had a great game with three blocks. I think I was, I almost let us in rebounding. Jabari Smith and Garuba let us in rebounding. KJ Martin off the bench had nine. Tari Eason had nine. Josh Christopher with five. As for the Suns, Devin Booker tried his hardest, 28 points. Not much else. 13 for 24, 2 for 6 from downtown. Aiden had his type of game with 17 and 12. Chris Paul was nowhere to be found. Absolutely clamped up. 10 points, 8 assists, 3 steals, but he shot 4 for 14 from the field, 1 for 6 from downtown. And from there on, there was nothing else. Campaign gave him 2 for 12. Rudy Gay gave him 1 for 8. Mikel Bridges, 1 for 5. They just had no, no one contributing at all besides Devin Booker and Aiden. We'll see if that changes in game two. If not, it's an easy ticket to the finals. That's it for me. GG.